Today, I'm going to unbox the Small Rig Black Mamba Series cage for the Panasonic GH6. I have the GH6 now. I've had the GH2, 3, 4, 5, 5S. I'm a big fan of the Micro Four Thirds sensors. And I, in a previous video, I had reviewed the tilt a cage for the GH6, which I I thought was okay, uh, I, and I had some problems with it, but overall I thought that one was okay, and now I want to try out the Small Rig Black Mamba series. Small Rig has another version that is not called the Black Mamba, that is cheaper, but less feature rich, I guess, is the difference, but we'll find out. This is going to be my unboxing and first impressions video. Uh, at the recording of this video, this Black Mamba was around $100. But if you buy directly from Small Rig, sometimes there's some sales, some discounts, coupon codes, stuff like that. I don't have a coupon code for you, but they often have it on their website. So that's why I like to buy directly from their website rather than Amazon or anything like that. But I, I'm going to put a link to Amazon if you want to buy this in the description section of this video. All right, there it is. Let's see if there's anything else in this package. It says echo friendly, that's nice. And there is nothing else in this big box. It's just that box was for this guy here. And I'm feeling it, I think it's carbon fiber. It doesn't feel like it's carbon fiber. It feels like some parts maybe here is carbon fiber. What does it say in the back? Uh, I think it's just aluminum. And it has a different finish to it. Usually small rig has a very dark, shiny metal to it. And this is not that. It's gray. It looks small in the photos and in other videos that I've been seeing this. But this is, I think this is substantial. It's not. It's not that bad. I mean, that small. And, oh, here is Arca Swiss. I believe this is Arca Swiss compatible. So if you have Arca Swiss tripod heads, you do not need an Arca Swiss plate. You can just slip it directly using the cage. Okay, I like the cutouts here. There is some grippy material here to help grip to the tripod mount. And then here, these look like anti-twist. Yeah, this looks like, and it's rubber. There's rubber here and rubber there. So that looks like when the camera rests here, it won't twist. And up here, oh, up here there's also rubber. It's also rubber when it touches the top of the camera. And I think that's all, oh, there's a screw here. And that screw looks like it screws into possibly the strap ring over here. And to undo that screw, it's probably this magnetized key. How do I get this off here? Oh, you just pull it. Okay, pull it out. And it's magnetized. There's magnets here. And yeah. Looks like I just, oh great, I thought I was going to need a tool. And I had I had my small rig multi-tool out here just, just for this occasion, but looks like I don't need it because small rig includes the tools you need to attach the cage to the camera. Ah, so a different design from the other cage that I reviewed and the other cages that I've owned is that the top here doesn't go across your controls on the right side of the camera, the top right. So there, you have access to everything and it wraps around pretty nicely. Am I in? Yep, I am in there. Now let me screw it in. And this one also has screw. So I don't need a flathead screwdriver either. So the Tilta had two screws. What one was the screw to go into the tripod mount, and the other one was an alignment 
so that it also doesn't twist. That's very common in video tripods, and that's what the uh, GH6 has. But this one doesn't have two screws, it only has one. All right, that's in there. And here is where the anti-twist is. So it, this camera is not going to twist back and forth in the cage, or at least it shouldn't. And that is tight. And it does look like there's room here to put on the XLR adapter if you still if you have that. So there's clearance. There's no NATO rail up here to put on my handle. They the Black Mamba series comes or, or for an accessory, an extra price. You can get their Black Mamba handle. And I think it just screws in there, but I have one that just, this is a, a hot shoe. So I guess I could put it in, or this is a cold shoe. I, I could put it in the cold shoe up here, but I don't want to do that because sometimes it damages the electronics in the hot shoe of the camera. And oh, I think you got to do the, okay, I see here. Okay, so going in here, I think you go in from the back. That is screwed in there. That extra, that's in there. I don't want to do it too tight. And now we can slip this tool back there. And that's snug, that's not going anywhere. It doesn't rattle at all. This rattling is, is just the sensor because there's a lot of in-body image stabilization ability in there. Okay, let's hold this. Uh, hmm. All right, it does make the grip thicker, not longer, but it, it there's it, there's a, some body to it right here. This does add, if you have big hands, this helps, but if you have medium to small size hands, it doesn't help because the grip on the GH6, in my opinion, was already very good, perfect for my hand. So this now makes it a little more difficult to hold. I might want to get an optional strap. So I would put the strap here and here, like a, like a hand strap to, to help me hold this into place if I am going to go handheld. And this section here, it does look like it's NATO rail compatible right here. So you, so you can put a NATO accessories, like another grip. And it comes out pretty far, far from the camera body right here it's an interesting design let's see if i can get the battery door open let me pop in a battery pop a battery in there close that and ah okay so there's a a space here on the bottom of the battery compartment and that also looks like where i could rest my pinky if i wanted to yeah my pinky could fit there Okay, so if I hold it like this, that's better. I just changed my grip. So when I'm going like this, it, it's not as easy to hold like that. But when I bring my pinky down there, ah, I see. Now I got a better grip. Nice. Okay, I need to screw something up here. Let me find, let me see if I have a, some kind of a plate myself another accessory that I can screw on here so I can get a handle. I've added a few things up here on the top just to play around with the different functions I could do or configurations. I put on a NATO rail from Small Rig, one of the, the smaller NATO rails right on the top, but I wanted to just see what it would look like if I put on this cold shoe handle. This is Small Rig, again, Small Rig's small handle that I really like, and I put another one of their smaller, small rig NATO rails up here, just in case I wanted to put in a monitor. Here's small rigs piece that has a NATO rail, and then you could put mount a monitor on here, so I could do it this configuration. Slide this, Let, let's pretend I had a monitor right up here, and if I did, monitor's right here. It'd be pretty big, compared to the body of this camera, but I could do that. Let's take that part off. But again, I don't like to use 
a cold shoe handle on the hot shoe of the camera because I think it could potentially damage the electronics in there. I'm not sure. I haven't seen any t uh, tests on that. I just don't want to do it. So I'll put the cap back on and reserve it only if I use the Panasonic XLR adapter. Just for comparison, I have... This is the old cage. This is the first generation cage of the GH5. It does not fit the GH6 because the GH6 is a completely different kind of body. But this was what it was looking like. And it's glossier. It feels just as good, but here, here's what I mean on the top here. You had this blocked off of all of these controls. And now on the Black Mamba, you have those controls. And there was less of a grip. Oh, yeah, there was no grip material anywhere in this first gen for the GH5. So I'm glad they improved that. And then they put some grippy materials on the bottom here, right here where the anti-twist is, and right here on the top. Okay, so now that I have the NATO rail up here, I could put on a NATO rail handle. Here's one of Small Rig's bigger NATO rail handles. It's very adjustable. Let me put this on here. Yeah, so by putting on a handle or really anything, you no longer could use the XLR adapter. I think you'll have to get, I think Small Rig must have a cage adapter that lifts up the handle so you can fit the XLR adapter, but I haven't seen a lot of people using the XLR adapter on their GH series cameras. Okay, so that's what it looks like with this handle. Take this handle off. And I think I'm just going to have this permanently on here. And if I did want to have any hot shoe, there is a hot shoe right here that I could mount something. And here's just a head here. Right, let's pretend that this is maybe a microphone or a light. So that could fit right there. It's off to the side, so it's not the best position. But yeah, I mean, it's right here where the microphone input is. So if this were a shotgun microphone, that could work. I like that configuration right there. And just to show you the side rail, that it is NATO rail compatible. Here is another small rig handle. This is on the left side, NATO rail. Let's bring this up. Slide that in there and lock that in. Ah, cool. Lot of, lot of stability here. I like this. This side, there's no NATO rail. You can't, you can't put a NATO rail attachment in it because it's curved. But there are some quarter twenties and three eighths there, so you can screw something in if you want. If you want like a double, double handle. But this is good because here with this handle, you have another, or I have another. Cold shoe, cold shoe, cold shoe. Great, uh, I think the last thing to do is just to put a lens on it and see what it looks like with the lens. I will first use a very common lens that a lot of people have. This is the 12 to 35 first gen lens. Probably my favorite lens to use with the exception of the, the next lens I'm gonna show. But this is, my fa one of my favorite lenses, all-purpose lenses. It's good for everything. And that's what it looks like with the cage. Let me remove this side handle so you can get just see, see it with the cage. Yeah. I was thinking of just doing also some still photography with this cage, but I, I think this cage is just not the best to handhold if I'm just taking stills. So this is, if I am gonna, if I'm doing hybrid shooting, uh, I'll, I'll deal with it. But if I know I'm gonna shoot a lot of stills, I might just take this cage off because it does mess up my positioning and it doesn't make it feel as as nice. Um, here on the bottom, if I, if I wanted to screw on some other tripod plate, it could do it right there. And now let me just test it with one of my newest toys or lenses that I bought. That is the 10 to 25, 
I finally sold an organ to buy this very expensive lens. And it's huge, it's massive. This is bigger than a lot of full frame lenses. I did a size comparison to my Canon 24 to 105 Mark II, which I had thought was one of the biggest mid-range zooms for a camera. And this is the same size as that. But here's what it looks like. Yeah, once you put on a massive lens like this one, then the cage helps a lot with, with holding it. I can't even fit this whole camera with a lens here in, in the frame of this video. Yeah, there you go. And let me, let me add all the accessories I have here. Let's put on the handle. Let's put on the top handle. All right, there you go. I like this. So in comparison to the tilt -a cage I don't have that tilt -a cage anymore, I returned it. But in comparison to that tilt -a cage you could go either way between the tilt -a cage and the Black Mamba here with the small rig. I think they're both good. The Black Mamba is a little bit better to hold with it, uh, naturally if you are gonna hand hold it. But I, I, there are a lot of advantages to the tilt -a cage and, and it's cheaper. I think the tilt -a cage is $70 and then the Black Mamba is 100 And the tilt -a cage, that the, the, one of the reasons, couple of the reasons why I like the tilt -a cage already better than this one is that on the top, you already had a cold shoe on the top and it was already a NATO rail built in. It, it, it just had a lot of features, the, the, the tilt -a cage. So um, I don't know. Um, I think the Black Mamba is good, but I could see someone sticking or going with the tilt -a cage as well. I think they're both good. I'm I'm on the fence right now because I think there's pros and cons to either cage. Uh, I'm gonna just roll with the Black Mamba for now, and I might change my mind later on and go back to the Tilta. But the Black Mamba, yeah, it, it, I think it's good. Okay. Not amazing, but um, good. It's good for what it is. Great.